questions for our players? Anthony, Javon McCray has been doing a pretty good job up until tonight. How, what was your focus on him before the game? Um, my focus on before the game uh, with McCray was just to uh, make it tough on him. I know last year I had a tough time playing him for the first time. Uh, this week I was doing a lot of study on him. I just wanted to find him, make it tough on him on the, uh, on the passes inside, and I think the guards helped me a lot, you know, um, cutting off passes, and it made it tough on him in the first half. In a game where neither team really shoot the ball too well, what's the what was the key in grinding it out at the end for either either of them? Uh, I would say just defense, toughness on defense, and uh, coming up with loose balls. Some of them we didn't get, and uh, just uh, staying together as a unit and uh, playing strong uh, team defense and making sure we, uh, as you say, uh, stop McCray from getting uh, easy post ups and stuff like that. So I think that was one of the keys. I know you guys had a little trouble with your plane ride today. How much does that play into the first five or ten minutes of the game? Right? Um, I don't feel like it uh, played any part at all. Uh, we don't make no excuses on this team. So our coaches prepared us very well. You know, we still did our film. We still um, prepared well. We was looking at you know each player's um, tendencies, and we just try to uh, forget about the circumstances we had to go through and just play ball. Play ours out to get the win. Like you guys said, it was, it was a grind, so we just had to pull it out to win. Two sophomores on a team that uh, quite a few seniors leading the way. What's that feel like for you guys? Uh, I would say we just learn from them. They they kind of set the tone, and uh, I know Scooty is a great job of leading us in practice and stuff like that. So we just, we just look up to them as, as leaders and, uh, and learn from them because they they've been playing college basketball for four years, five years now. So take as much as we can from them and uh, learn every day. Guys, yeah, can you talk about the defensive effort and what you guys were able to do to slow them down? Um, I would say, uh, particularly in the first half, we just tried to uh, we try to focus on the, on the post guys because uh, I think they, they really focus their game on the inside with McCray. So I was guarding the night, and I think the guards, like I said, uh, helped me a lot with um, filling in those spots where they try to you know stick passes in, and they they uh, pretty much was filling the lane to you know deny those passes, and it helped me out a lot. This was a game that last year both teams were in the 80s. What do you think were some of the differences that led it to be a different kind of battle? Uh, I would say defense. In the first half, we I don't know how much we held them to, but they, they struggled shooting the ball in, deep, in, uh, in the first half. So I would think coming out strong and uh, playing the first half, great defense. Second half, we kind of kind of uh, didn't do so well as the first half. But I would say overall, we, um, we stepped the defense, and that would change the difference from last year's game. Well, can you talk about your comfort level out there, career high for minutes and production, and how did you feel out there? Um, I was just trying to win the game. <laughs> that's basically because all that doesn't matter if we lose the game. So that's my main focus is winning games. So we're up 4-0 now. We're, we're in a rhythm. So I'm looking forward to the next game. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks. From what I read, you weren't terribly happy with the defense in the last game. Uh, Got to be happier with how they played today. Yeah, our, our defense was improved. Uh, it was a hard-fought game, a very physical game. Uh, I thought they had a lot of open looks in both halves that, that didn't go down for them. Uh, so our defense was good, but I don't, I don't think it was great. I think it's just one of those games that just it's a grind it out, as you mentioned before, kind of game, and uh, you know we prevailed, but uh, it was really a, a very physical game. I think. Why do you think it went that way? Just that every every game takes on such a different personality. You had mentioned that uh, we were in the 80s last year in overtime, but it wasn't what it was going to be tonight. I, I thought we had a we had three threes in the first half that were in and out too, and uh, it just was one of those kind of battles for us. So uh, we didn't take care of the ball very well in the first half as well. I'm shocked that we had 15 turn only five in the second half. I thought we had more than that, and uh, so I was pleased with that part of it in the second half, taking care of the ball. So uh, it's just every game's different. You mentioned the turnovers. What were some of the issues offensively? 
Yeah, just not strong enough with the ball a couple times, trying to take, uh, trying to do some things that we can't do. We got to stay within our own character and our own personality. We got to know who we are a little bit better than than we did tonight on some plays. Uh, so I, I think it's as much that we had three offensive fouls too as well. There were passes that were thrown to a guy who appeared to be open, and they stepped up and took a charge. Good. I would say he did a good job. Doubling down on McCray, making life difficult in the first half when they when they were struggling for baskets. Yeah, I thought you know we had planned that. I think we we did a pretty good job on that. I thought our wings did a good job of pinching in maybe and maybe and avoiding some of those quick post feeds because if you watch them on film, I thought all of them to McCray was a very good combination of post feeding and McCray is really tough down there. He, he does a really good job, knows how to play, and got a great feel for his body and what he can do with it. So. I thought we did a pretty good job on him, but he missed some easy shots too. They all did, and uh, we missed a few of ourselves. You talk about your team uh, finding themselves and understanding themselves. What in particular? Well, just do things that you can do well. Like we're posting guys up. We don't. We're not a post. We're posting forwards up. Uh, you know, 12 feet from the basket. Uh, it's a new thing for me. Now, if we're posting them up and the guy's throwing a shot in the basket, well, we're going to use that play a lot. Uh, there were a couple of post ups we didn't get anything out of, and poor shot selection. And, uh, we had another one of our student athletes shoot a 12 foot uh, jump hook. That's a hard shot to make. And, uh, and then he allowed Regan to make a three right behind it. That's probably not acceptable. So that's what we talked about. So those kind of things. So Wyatt walk off with a few minutes left. Uh, you know what happened there with him? Yeah, he apparently had the. Needed stitches in his arm. I don't know how it happened or what happened, but apparently we needed stitches. I never saw stitches needed that late. I mean, that, that uh, on your arm, stitches in your head. I get it. Stitches in your arm. I was a little misunderstanding, but uh, I have great faith in our trainers and our doctors, and they took care of it. I would rather have had him available, but he was not. Could you just talk a little bit about Will and how he played and gave him a lot of minutes? Yeah, he did a really good job. He, he made two baskets, one in the first half, one in the sec second half, to kind of stem the tide. They were going to make a little bit of a run, and I thought he stepped up and made two really hard shots, good drives to the basket, really very tough moves. And, and as you saw, when Wyatt went out, I <coughs> chose him to go and shoot those foul shots because I, I have confidence that he's going to step up and make them. He went one for two, but uh, he, did, he did what he needed to do. He was pretty tough tonight. Turned it over a few too many times. That last one was on him a little bit, but uh, he, did, he played really good game. Coach, you did force him into 17 turnovers. Is that going to be a key to your defense? You know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we're a big force teams into turnovers type team. I think we're more of a solid defensive team. Uh, it just it was a function of some balls getting away from them a little bit today. We did do a good job of getting our hands on a, a number of balls. We'll, we'll count the deflections on the film and see how many we got of those. And that's a big step for us. Hopefully we did a good job out to see the film. Questions? All right, thanks a lot.